so the um, I I have a project here on GitHub. We can put the link in in the uh, in the documents afterwards, where there is a complete Duke application that does this um, this um, uh, transfer to Jakarta EU. So so it's. It has a branch here, so you can go to the start tutorial and check out this branch. And and from that from that branch, that is a Jakarta E8 application. And and uh, you will get to what's in the master branch by doing these steps. So it, it's to start with the, doing the uh, Palm updates from eight, or if you have the Jakarta E API or or if you're using Java E, it's like this, and, and update it to the Jakarta E9 version. And the next thing you need to do is to, you will get a lot of comp compilation errors. So you need to fix your imports. And that is more or less search and replace for Java X to Jakarta, but not, not everywhere, because there are still Java X namespace classes in the Java SE. So, so you don't want to change the Java X SQL or the Java X transaction because they're still there and they are going to be there. So be careful. But um, all the compilation errors can be uh, can you fix in imports. And it's a good idea to use the IDE to do it for you. And, uh, you also have the XML schemas. If you have some XML files in your application, in this case, I have a, a uh, persistence XML file. And you can see the, the namespace of this schema is the, the old JCP schema, and it has the old version of the persistence. So here it's to update to the Jukari E version. And you can see it's, it's only the first part you need to change because the rest of it is is the same after to to the correct version and then it's also you have the the uh, the schema location here change it from jcp to jakarta and also here's the, the actual namespace name so so and and then you have the step four you may have some properties that are prefixed with java x and these, in, in, in this de demo, it's the persistence properties. So if you have Java X persistence schema generation property set, you need to change it to Jakarta. So here's also search and replace Java X with Jakarta. And then it's kind of a special case. You may have some CDI extensions or something else that you have some, some kind of files around in your system where the file name is actually changed. So you just need to, to, to rename those files. And then the last thing that is probably the most difficult to find is if you have any dynamic content, if you have like, like, like class names in your database or in a text file or in a property somewhere that you are dynamically using, maybe by a reflection or something, or even worse, if you're string concatenating something and creating a Java X named class, then you need to change it. And, and in this example, I've, I've just, I have the message saying how, how did Jakarta E8 needs to be changed to Jakarta E9 to be correct. So, so here it's just a simple database change, but if you have any Java X namespace things or properties in your data store somewhere, you need to fix that as well. So, so by completing this tutorial, you take a, entire application and move it over from Jakarta 8 to Jakarta 9. And I think I have an image of this application somewhere. Let's see if I can find it. I did draw a nice picture. Yeah, so, so the, your question WebXML is changed. So for the WebXML, you also need to fix the namespace, but uh, not that much more, I think. 
Let me just find the, um, the architecture drawing. No, I have it somewhere. Let's see. There you go. I'll just take this link and put it over there. So the, the actual application, I'm, oh, I don't have, let me see, I need to change my user. Let me see, Let's scroll down to slide 28, I think, there you go. So the, the uh, Duke application is actually uh, this one. So, so it has a, a, a REST interface, an EJB, a, a Jakarta persistent or, or JPA in the database, and it has some logging statements and returns from JSON. So, so this, this application here is this one here. So, so you, can, you can try it out. So that's a good way to figure out how to do this namespace migration. There is there is also the bytecode. I don't know if you have a demo for that. I have one that I used last couple, yeah. two weeks ago. I can show yeah. quickly. Yeah, you can also do the, uh, if you don't do it manually, you can do the bytecode by using the, uh, you, you have a, a plugin for it at Apache and and there's also a, a transformer project at Eclipse Foundation that will do the bytecode transform transformation for you. So, yeah. Yeah, I, I just paste the link there um, so you can follow up uh, that link with Eclipse Transformer from GitHub. Um, and I will try to search if I have uh, the link for the recording while I demo that part. But uh, yeah, that's yeah. a bytecode level change as Ivar mentioned, you have. Yeah, that second option to to do that. Um, oh, there it is. I'm back. I don't know where I stop. <laughs> I don't know where I stop. Uh, where you, what was the last thing you heard to me, but, uh, hopefully you, you well, we you... didn't hear much. Let, 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 let's put it that way. Okay. Yeah. I, I, I just paced on the, I was saying that I paste on the chat, the link to the Eclipse transformer. Oh, okay. Yeah. And that, um, I have a small demo that show the output of a WAR file for that, but I don't know if, if, if there are more questions from Majid about it. Yeah, I'm sure you can. Um, yeah, I'll stop sharing you. and you can go if yeah. you want. Ivar, could you please share PDF of Jakarta EE? Yeah, well, I'll, I'll find it somewhere. Uh, it's on my Google Drive, so I'll find a better place to share it from. I'll, I'll put it in the friends folder.
Cesar, did you want to um, demo something? Is that what you were saying? Um, yeah, I, I, I can I can briefly share the the, the bytecode generation. So Majid can have a, a look yeah, at that absolutely. one. Yeah, absolutely. That's gonna yes. take us not too much time. Let me share here my desktop. Okay, so let me show you what I have here. So, um, and let me close this. So you can find um, the, the plugin on the link uh, we shared on the chat for those that didn't saw that and are watching the recording. Let me paste here the link too. There is this plugin that we were mentioning with Ivar about uh, the Eclipse Transformer that basically at bytecode level offered you the, the, the migration. Um, what I have here, let me show you. This is a Maven-based project. Actually, it's one of the examples that we have at the Apache Tommy project. Um, and um, those examples are not, are are available. Uh, let me let me show you here, so you can have a reference where to find that that example. So, if you go here to the uh, documentation, you have these examples, the Tommy Nine milestone uh, examples, and from there you can find many examples. One of those examples that I'm talking about is the movie Phone Rest. Um, that is basically a uh, JAXRS application and it has JPA and some other APIs from, from Jakarta EE. What I want to show you is in the POM file, if we go and search for the transformer plugin, you will see that is part of the plugins that the project has. And with that, we are able to just um, generate our project in the normal Maven. Uh, let's clean install the skipping test just for the sake of uh, time. Um, and what you will see is that in the target folder, you will have your Jakarta EE8 project because this is a Jakarta EE project. Uh, movie font rest here. This is a, um, well, in this case, I'm seeing the documentation for, 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 for eight, but if we go, uh, let me open this on the ID. But if, if we see the, the project by itself, the project is, just, is it still a Jakarta EEA project or it may be a Java EEA project. And by just allowing the Maven plugin, the um, transformer plugin to do that bytecode level transformation for you, you ended up having two WAR files in the target folder. So as you can see here, we have the normal movie from WAR but we also have the Jakarta EE9 WAR file. So if we inspect that WAR file, let me do that really quickly here. This is an, a, another alternative and also a quick way to double check what your project in terms of APIs is using. Um, and if you find some issues, you can quickly troubleshoot. So if we go to classes from this break, you will see here that we have the movie rest class. And this is the, this is, we are decompiling the, the target, the, the, the generated war file that was already transformed. And as you can see, as uh, Ivar was mentioning, you have all the Jakarta namespaces already migrated for you. Uh, if we see the movie class, you see we have persistent jakarta.persistent.entity. And if my ID opens already, you will see that the project itself, the source code, is still using um, Javax namespace. So this is another quick way to bootstrap your project and, and generate a second binary uh, just by using the, um, the, the plugins at, at Maven level. Um, and that will allow you to quickly test in whatever application server you're using the, the Jakarta E9 version uh, from your app migrated via this, uh, this alternative method that, that we offer in the community. A quick question for you, Caesar. Does the transformer also take the XML schemas and properties and that kind of stuff? I recall that. Yes. I recall that. Yes. Um, and let me see if we have because something this here. Schema, it, the web XML here is, is, is old. Yeah. Okay. In this case, it's not. Some. Yeah. In this case, it didn't. It didn't transport that. 
Um, I will need to check the version we are because using. Because that's really old, because that was before JZB. Yeah, yeah, you know? the Jakarta. Yeah, I need to check the version. I will double check that because I think we are using here an older version of the Transformer plugin. Um, but okay. um, but yeah, you're right. Uh, let me see. We don't have any other uh, persistent XML. Uh, you're right. No, this didn't transform these ones. Yeah, good catch. Yeah, I will check on that one. I can follow yeah. up. Because many application data. servers aren't that picky about this, but there are ones that are. And yeah, I, they I will throw the... Yeah. I think if you de deploy to Glassfish, it doesn't care. But Wildfly will validate the schemas, I think. Yeah. In, so in so Tommy, it depends on which... Yeah, and tell me we, we we don't throw exception when we are reading this. Uh, but you know, as as we are talking, things are changing in the milestone releases. Yeah. So thank you for the for the, for the catch on that one. Yes, and that's and, and also the um it, it's a quick and, and nice way to 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 see that it's working in the Jakarta namespace. Right. And right. and uh, but but it's not a I, I don't think I would recommend to keep the source code in the Java X namespace forever and maintain it in that and, and always rely on a transformer. That can be, then you can get some, uh, some weird errors, I guess. Yeah, you know, it will depend from, from a scenario. Um, let me yeah. just uh, show you here some of the stuff that we are currently being able to do in the Tommy project. Obviously, it's, it's a different scenario. We are talking about here uh, an open source application server, right? Compared yeah. that the ERP that uh, Majid was talking about. But uh, so far, this had been allowed us to, 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 to avoid, to have two branches m merging different forks and so on. But... Um, but but uh, I, I think what, what I said on, on, on the sessions where I present this demo uh, that I've been doing this since uh, uh, the last uh, the last couple of months um, is that it will depend on for your scenario and and in the case of Maj Maj Majid that that mentioned that he has an ERP a quick way to see what what is broken or what it will need for changes is just to do this and right away you can have and then iterate if you want to have. To branches are or, or how you want to handle the migration yeah are, are you because th this is uh the, the use you're showing of the transformer here is on compile time or build time yeah that you yes. do the transformation to and and have the jakarta namespace classes D do you also support it at runtime in tommy or planted it not not yet not yet no yes because i think maybe uh, I'm not sure if Open Liberty does it or some of the others. Yeah, but I, but, but that is uh, that is also kind of a shaky ground to be because you you never know what's actually going to happen. Yeah, depending that, that's, on what kind of dynamic structures you have in. Your yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. That's right. You being able to accept uh, Jakarta E8 uh, WAR files and then uh, do the, all this transformation. Uh, by the server, but uh, yeah, that's yeah. another, that's another, an, another, another approach. Uh, currently, we are not doing that at the moment. Yeah. But that's it. That's it. Um, that's what I wanted to to quickly show yeah. to Majid uh, in terms of alternatives that are um, in the open source side of the fence. We have, we have the the one Divar shows the Eclipse Transformer. And if you find something else, please share us <laughs> because we don't know what the community yeah. is doing at this point. <laughs> also, when you know when when now that the release is out of the door. I have yeah. a question so, for so, so one one thing you could do is actually a, a good way of doing the migration is to run the transformer on your existing code base and just start it up and see if it runs. And if it runs fine, then you know I'm, I'm probably not going to get into so many issues. And uh, so you don't start the migration before you know that you can get there. I mean, uh, yeah, I have have... A... yeah, sorry about this. I have a question for Majid. Oh, sorry if I mispronounce your name. Can you tell me your name, please? I just joined a little bit. He doesn't have a microphone. So... 
Yeah, so ah, okay. Yeah, okay. We are interacting with him via the chat. Yeah. Okay, I get it. So, is are you migrating from another technology to Java E, or are you migrating for Java E to Jakarta E? Is Java E from Jakarta E? I think in the chat earlier he was um, stating that he has Java E application. Ah, so thank you, Tani. I said I joined mm -hmm, a little no bit late, so I cannot yes. see it. I cannot see the chat. Okay, yeah. so I have a question for Ivar, Ed, and Cesar. Is it the transformer? The transformer is not similar to what we have in MicroProfile Starter. Is there a way for, is there a bandwidth for us to create something that would allow developers to check out different APIs. We have about 33, 34 APIs currently a part of Jakarta E9. However, everything is super distributed because every API does something different. Some of them connect, but there is no easy way to embark on it if you are not already in the technology. What are we doing for the adaptability on a single API? Is there a plan for this to happen? Yeah, so, so we do have a project, we have, something called startjakarta.ee. So you can go to that. It, it's a starter project. It, it will be linked from the web page later. Currently, this is Jakarta E8. Uh, and this is, uh, the, the thought is to, to replicate what the microprofile starter is doing. So you can have a wizard and generate your project. Right now, it's just a simple application that, is, that, you, that you can download. Uh, but we do have um, on on GitHub. Th this project is. Um, uh, let me see. It's on. Um, There's a tutorial. Yeah, we have the tutorial as well. Yeah. So the, the one. Not, oh no, it's not Chikari. It's uh, e Eclipse. Uh, Eve J. I think it's. Um, Somewhere here, we have the starter. So the, the project is up and running and we, we have, we have some, some uh, contributors there, but this is a project that we, 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 uh, it, we need help. You see, there hasn't been much going on the last couple of weeks, uh, a couple of months. So, so, so if, if anybody in the community and, and uh, wants to help with creating a starter for Jakarta E that is uh, generates a project for you. We have yeah. started and, and Jevison has been active and Rudy is there. So so the more the better. So this is a good project to get involved. So thank you so much, Ivar. So um, is there a way for us to, after this call, to send a note to the working group, maybe we can do working group forum or Jakarta forum and call to action for this. I believe that now that EE9 is available, we need to push for tools that enables, at, enables those coders to check out different APIs. I think we need to start small and the starter is important. I forgot about it because that was back in 2019, uh, early when it was put into place, but there is no link to the website? Do we need to send a PR to connect it? What are the next steps for at least to show in the website what we currently have? And just to bring attention to everything at once. Yeah, so so the, the starter is actually linked here. It's so, hidden. So, no one knows what's- it's... Yeah, no, so, so they are, uh, the, the, but as you know, the web page is being restructured. So so this, this was the way we could do it right now, but but it is there, and 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 as you see, it 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 is uh, set up to be start to go to the DE. So so it, we, it's an easy link to share. Can we can we move it to a, a specifications or some other place that in resources we just throw stuff? Sadly, um, we um, we need we we need to make this a part of the technical side. And my recommendation, yeah. Majid is saying it's heating. I didn't see it, but I think it's important, right? Yeah. Is there a way for us to move it to the specifications? Because yeah, I mean, it's, very, I, I, it's very important, but we're in the middle of uh, restructuring. 
So it, it is going to be very, very temporary. Yeah, I, I, I think the, the way to do it is, is to get an issue into, um, I don't know who's driving this, because if it was up to me, I, I would have a, a start button here. Yes, yes. So, so, a, but, mm -hmm. but, but a new tab. The, so it is, or, or even important. a yellow one in the middle. But, yes. But, but, but uh, I think it's, it has to be feeded into those who design the web page. And that is under the marketing committee, I think. So get it on their agenda is the first step, I think. Mm -hmm. Sasa, I Ed? Can, I can take that. That's amazing. Let's write that in a minute. I can't, uh, I can't guarantee it'll happen. I'll just take the issue. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Majid, do you hear this? Uh, you joined the call and you have bringing attention to improvements and your uh, struggles. And it's extremely nice um, that you are able to contribute um, to the conversation and improvements. Yeah. And, and as Ed pointed out, the this page, we've added the links to the uh, Your First Cup and, and the Jihari tutorial. Uh, which is here, it can probably be some, some look and feel could probably be uh, flied on it, but it's very inform. I mean, it goes through the entire platform, so you can really learn it here if, if you start mm -hmm. from scratch. But. Can we add those links to the minutes? Um, I think these minutes are going to be um, pretty important. I will also use them to see um, the starter starter we can create a new um item oh, sorry i created a, an item i wanted to update on this call and we can say it started and then we can look at it and see how we can help because it's about adaptability the tutorial is be in the process of being updated it is um the the code's all been i think there's a I think the code is all been updated. There was a long, very long, lengthy PR for that. I thought it got uh, uh, merged. If not, we can certainly merge it. And then um, uh, the documentation is still in process. Mm -hmm. I think we didn't complete the, we haven't completed the, the, the wording. I think it's Scott and you and a few others were, I think on, maybe the two of you were working super hard on, on, the, on the tutorial because the, the tutorial was started by Bill and then we have catch up on the changes. So I'm not sure if Ed, you have an update on that because I didn't see it merge over the holidays. Uh, I guess it's still ever open. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> so, so what you'll see, uh, sad, I guess without the merge, you'll see the EEA <clears throat> tutorial. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we it's not updated yet, but I think um, that is something um, we need help with. And I was the one to say, hey, let's wait until the holidays we're back to, to restart for like changing the name changing and all the stuff. And I myself have failed to, to help on that. Um, so this is a call out for everyone. We need help. Eva, you are sharing the screen. You are um, yeah. you're being, I, you're I, being amazing at links and stuff. Mm -hmm. so. You're being amazing. Ed, do you want to provide? Um, maybe not right now, but sorry, Majid, you are having problems finding the tutorial. Can we show once again the tutorial, um, Eva? And thank you. The tutorial is only for eight, not yet nine. Right. <clears throat> so remember, there's two projects that you will care about. There's the tutorial examples, which is all the source code. Um, that has a an outstanding, uh, looks like it has an outstanding um, <laughs> Sorry, I'm looking at the wrong project. Um, Ed, do you want to share the screen so we can see what you are um, yeah. sharing? Then, then you can see my bumbling around. And I, and <laughs> I, and 
It's okay. This is a safe zone. Seriously. I think this is the... Yeah, he's got it's... the examples. I... Right. So these are examples for a lot of technologies. Let's add that link as well. So there's a very large PR to migrate to mm -hmm. that's not yet merged. Um, number 33, we got to get that merged in. Um, Ed, mm -hmm. Are you okay to send it to the working group for extra eyes so we can all jump in to help? I stopped, um, had three weeks off in December, so I couldn't help. But I remember Scott saying, hey, let's work on this. And we all dropped the ball because of the holidays. I think we need to restart so before we merge it. And you guys have done a fantastic job. Um, but we need to say thank you properly with review. Yes. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to remember what project that's in. It's in the it's in the specification, I believe. The repo. You're talking about repo? I think it's in the, the specification. Anyway, I'll take care of I'll try to kick the kick that. Mm -hmm. um, and then there's some, um, so there's the examples, which uh, there is a PR for um, migrating it to nine. And I think there's uh, also a PR for migrating um, some or all of the uh, documentation itself. So, um, so we should get those merged in. Uh, mm -hmm. was hoping to get uh, some input on the PRs. Perhaps we should just merge them. We just need to revive them. It's just after and the another good resource is actually the cargo tracker. Yes. It's also a sample application that has everything. Uh, kind of a uh, couple of services and, and a good tutorial. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so, it, so the tutorial takes you sort of, the, the intent of the tutorial is to take you step by step through each technology, you know, one at a time. Cargo tracker shows you how all those things can uh, be combined into a, you know, a modern real world application. And, and Majid, my recommendation is, this is very biased. While you go through these links to get the support you need to be able to use the technology, please, you know, you can blog a 200 word, put it in your kids page and start sharing the information you're learning. Because when you struggle, and you share how you got to the next step, you help others that are a little bit behind you. So do you understand? Sharing is caring and documentation is everything. Even if you're not able to write, to send a PR on an issue to say, hey, this is work, owning the work and sharing what you know or what you're learning says thank you to everyone in this call that is um, you know, figuring out how we can do better so that the next Majid is equipped to not be, you know, clicking so many things to find the information directly in the website. But also, uh, um, and, and, and thanks, Amelia, that's a great point. But also, I would like to um, point out that any, like, don't, don't wait for the meeting uh, to get in touch with us either open an issue as, as Amelia suggested, or just shoot an email to the um, Jakarta e community uh, mailing list. Um, and, um, you know, that will be the signal that uh, it needs, uh, the item needs attention from uh, different perspectives. So I'll mm -hmm. just put it in the, in, in the chat or, you know, to a specific mailing list, project mailing list and so on. Uh, just, just don't, don't stall on the problem <laughs> that you're having. <laughs> exactly. We have Jakarta. Look, let, let, I, I added a, a topic and I have not had the bandwidth um, to send them for the, um, to send the update to the forum. Can we, can someone click the Jakarta email in this Google sheet? Um, thank you so much, Ivar. Um, let's click on that last five days ago, I updated the, can you click on the Google, the Google link? It's on the top, right? This is about the Jakarta EE mailing list organization and inventory. In November, uh, when we were about to launch to launch uh, Java EE9, 
um, I realized that some of the emails didn't match the descriptions and they were not by order and all this other stuff. They had no common naming and it's pretty hard to navigate the 41 mailing lists. So I sent a note to the community forum and I said, hey, is there a bandwidth to do this work? Oh, yes, Majid. I think Majid is saying that he will send issues or connect and make sure that his struggle is real in share. Thank you. Um, okay, so then this, four days ago, I went in there, five days ago, I went in there and I used every ticket to create Excel sheets. And what I did was that our main working groups, main working mailing list that should be on top. And then I went by order after this. So we have the Jakarta community. I made it a priority, but this needs review, right? This needs other eyes. Then I went the working group, right? And then I went the platform, TCK, the specifications, and Majid, that is examples dev, dedicated for Jakarta. You are struggling, you do not know what are the examples, what are the tutorials. That is the mailing list that we are not even using because it's hidden, it's too far down, right? And then I went, and then line nine, I started with activation. Since activation, every other API is organized by alphabetical order. And it follows the specification uh, naming that we have in the website, right? So we want the website and the specifications to be similar to the mailing list, right? This mailing list is added into Connect in Jakarta EE. And now I have asked first the webmaster team to check and provide feedback because when I went and fill out what they had given me back in November as an option to create this Excel sheet, they added, can you go to the right a little bit? It says less short um, section after, yeah. List short description, butcher. When I realized that I started this work, I didn't know how to use this because the description in the, in the left is already short. So is it, if it's necessary, and I just need to do the list description means maybe just the name of the email. And then short description is the actual meaning of how the mailing list is meant to be used. So I'm not sure how to go from here. So I'm waiting for Chris and Martin and maybe Ivar to check what I have done so that we can merge. The most important thing about this Excel sheet is that this Excel sheet will update the entire Eclipse ec uh, mailing list not only our website, but all of it across, right? Like Ed, you are part of an API that changed its name. I think it was mail. And then we didn't know. And then the connect area wasn't updated, but the Eclipse side was updated. So we had two different truths. Remember this? Yes. I mean, <laughs> that's going to happen across the board if you change the name like this. Yes. 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 So then what I want to show is if we go to the tab, um, Ivar, can you show the tabs? I discovered that, no, no, the tab in the bottom. For some reason, I cannot see it. Um, it, just, it gives me different tabs. We have potential new mailing lists or do we need this mailing list? Oh, there, there you are showing. You were showing the tab. This one is like, do we need this mailing list, right? I noticed that from November to now, there are a few different APIs that have come up with E9. That means we brought them back or something, but there are no mailing lists. So I'm not sure how those groups are communicating. So then I just added here and I said, do we need this? And this is for community discussion because I'm not sure um, how this is getting move forward. Then deprecate, so oh, go ahead, Ed. So there's a one-to-one -one correspondence between each project that's listed in the ee for j project page and a mailing list. Um, there may, I, I don't think we have created any additional lists, but that's where, so some APIs are combined into, um, you know, into Uber projects. So those, uh, you know, in, a, in the case where a project has more than one API, then the two APIs have to use the same mailing list 
for their discussions and they interleave. And uh, in, in a case where there's an API that doesn't have a lot of you know, discussion like debugging, but it's in its own project. Um, uh, well, actually debugging is the bad example because it's in the, the anyway, mm -hmm. th there are a whole bunch of um, sort of, you know, side cases that um, uh, that get in the way of this, but it was all, all it was all organized around the initial set of projects and the initial set of project names. Mm -hmm. um, you know, if we want to embark on a um, sort of a cleanup of you know trying to change the project mm -hmm. names to reflect their new Jakarta e names, we certainly can do that. It it mm -hmm. will you know the, there will be a fair amount of disruption you know because the lists change you know names from you know like java mail to mail right yes. you know we had the similar mm -hmm. kind of disruption on them uh, continuity yes. I mean, nothing was lost it was just that um, people had suddenly found that they weren't sending you know the list they were sending to before wasn't um wasn't the list that was working today mm -hmm. and ed um i understand and this is a fantastic um a day that you are given but how do we expect the newcomers those that we want to attract to know how to work or how to contribute or how to get help or how to become much more aware of the technology if our mailing lists that are the source of truth aside from the code is not clear for ourselves. This is why the needed emails is a recommendation and I think it's worth for us to, to, to consider um, if we don't do it now that we have EE9, when are we going to do it? When we are much more situated and learn the habit of using different mailing lists on the no base of five to 10 people in that project? And this is just a question that I wonder about of most often when I went through this mailing so list. Mm -hmm. When we made the contribution, I think we decided um, we didn't, um, we couldn't really predict where the names were going to go. So Hello. we just, um, you know, we just went ahead with the, the list names as the project name was, mm -hmm. you know, it initially created. Uh, and then we decided it would be up to the um, API committer teams or people that were interested in those APIs to decide how they wanted to, um, you know, if they wanted to migrate their, um, you know, when and how they wanted to, to move their, um, you know, any of their, um, uh, ancillary material forward, like, you know, should, I don't know, I'm just looking at this, you know, should um, JACC become Jakarta authorization or just authorization, right? You know, and then who's going to do that? Well, we, we were, we figured that yeah. the distributed committer list teams would take care of that. Mm -hmm. um, Bill was motivated, so he took care of it. Um, I don't think other projects um, have had such, you know, uh, sort of motivation to make those changes happen. Mm -hmm. I mean, okay, we, so, we could mm -hmm. certainly, it could be tracked at a, you know, at a, a higher level and we could, mm -hmm. you know, somebody could try to, you know, release boss and manage to, to get this to happen. Mm -hmm. it's so then it has to get done. Yeah, it has to be done. So the, this is the sort of truth right now. And what Chris told me is that we can keep it as the master where any changes that happened, it can be, we need to move the, this right now. I have it on the public mode because it's getting feedback, but no one has seen it because I say I made it and I didn't get to send it to the forum. Um, but the thing is that we definitely need to, once this is done and once this is the Eclipse um, infra is updated across the systems, we need to move this into protected mode so that only a few can submit an issue to make a change. Because Chris said that even when we send a PR to the current website, it doesn't update it across the infra, the Eclipse infra. And we need it in this document updates everything, right? So then if we decide the needed emails are necessary, we move it to Jakarta EE tab that is on the left. Those ones are the ones that are currently used. Then let's click uh, deprecate, um, Ivan. This one, we have only two that have been uh, not used and I recommend deprecation. And then we have EE4J parent umbrella that are only three emails or four, four emails, three emails. And the most interesting thing is that, Ed, you have confirmed we continue to use EE4J 
for a few millennials that are not yet under their own under their own dedicated communication and we need to fix that and the question for the community is do we put this mailing list under the ee4j eclipse um website like or do we keep it under the jakarta ee you see that it's like this conversation in cleanup that needs to happen but if we click back into jakarta ee we can see the most of the emails there are active in if you scroll down, Ivarin, thank you so much. All of it is organized now by order, but alphabetical order. It matches the website, um, but it just needs. And I also noticed that the, the descriptions in the website and the specifications are very problematic to what the API does. It does some of them are poor at best at describing the value of using the API. So. If we wanted to change a few of them, this is the place to keep it to do so, and then submit a PR to, to that. I have no idea how we change that. I think it's the PRs since we were involved in a little bit of the rebranding. Um, Cesar, do you remember how we did that? Or can someone remember, Ivar, do we send PRs to, to change the, the, you know, what the, is the, said? These, this, the, these descriptions. Yes, descriptions. I, I think they are. You have to send us, submit a web ticket for those. Yeah, so I, th I think these are from the uh, project pages. It, it's it's like the uh, let me see if I can find the one Jakarta of these. website on the GitHub project. I recall. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it, it's back. Uh, let me go back. You and just back. go to your account and click on list. You know, mm -hmm. the... okay. Is it? Yeah, like I couldn't find how, for a few of them, I corrected grammar, I corrected, um, I cleared up a few Jakartis provided information on what to, what is the IPI does. I went into the forums and said, this is doing X, this is doing Y. But most of the time I try to be honest and keep track with what we have on the website. But some of it needs work. Yeah. So the, I, these, uh, uh, I think the mailing uh, list descriptions, if I just click on uh, one of these, it's, it's here under contact us. And this is immediately going fit, fit in the specification page, correct? So we need to change yeah. only, the, yeah. and you know what I realized? Only the, the committers can change the pages. We cannot uh -huh. even send an, a, a git issue or a PR against it. No. So it, if you want to change the short name that describes the list, you have to submit a web ticket because yeah. those are not handled by any, they're not handling GitHub. It's part of the back end Eclipse infrastructure. Mm -hmm. yeah. I, I have to go. Oh yeah, you yeah. have. We, we have to go all of us because we yes. have yeah, the spec committee. Yeah. Who is good? So who is going to send the minutes? Majid, do you want to send the minutes to the community forum, copy paste and send the minutes of the call? Is that okay oh. with you? Or, or, or Ivar? Who, who uh, wants to send sure. it? I'll just leave the meeting open. Caesar is host uh, if he doesn't have but to. But you have the specification call right now. So yes. we all yes, have to. Yes, and I'm recording. So, so. Yeah, yeah. So let's. And let's Amelia, you can do it if, if, if no one else uh, is available I, right now. Yeah, I don't have the, the power to record, but someone else has to do it. Oh, but it's I was recorded. Asking, yeah, it's recorded. It's recorded. Yeah. yeah. It's being recorded. Don't worry. Okay, okay. so then, okay. let's Thank end you. it. Bye. Bye, everyone. Bye bye.